Hi everyone. Is your ex back in January? That's that's what I'm getting through today. So that's what I'm going to be looking into today. My pre-shuffle, I was getting somebody who is very stuck in the past. It's their energy. They've got a lot of sweet memories about your connection. Where they are at the moment, they are very stifled, very bored and very stuck. And I'm also getting that they know there is an important end and there has to be a new beginning. So that's what I'm going to have a look in today for you. Um, I'm going to look at what the general energy is, see what's going on, uh, their thoughts and feelings, any advice for you and anything else I can pick up on as we go along. So like I say, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Uh, before I start, if you would like an in-depth personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video, that'll take you straight through to the description box where the link to the website is. Also in there, there is a free relationship report. Go check that out as well. Right, okay. Let's have one for the memories. Let's just see. Yeah, star. Yeah, that's clarified the card I did in my pre-shuffle, um, all about beautiful memories. They're missing you. Um, you know, the star for me in my readings always, always comes out when it's a very deep connection. They are feeling the distance between you now. But they know that there's an important ending in something that they need to make for in order for this connection to heal. Um, for some of you, there could be a, a physical distance, but you know, if, if, you, if any of you are having dreams about your person and this person's in your dreams or you just find yourself thinking about them, I feel in today's energy that they're thinking about you as well. I think they're thinking about you as well. Let's just see what they're bored about, what they're stifled, all that wants to come out. Actually, two. Ah, oh, yes, the Knight of Cups. They want to come back. They want to come back. Let's just see what clarified that. What's the, oh, yeah, the Eight of Swords. Right, this is quite a Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, guys and gals and whoever's listening to this today, this is quite a strong energy. So the Stifled, Bored and Stuck is clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So yeah, they are bored, they are stuck, they are obligated to something else. They have got themselves restricted into a situation um, that they feel unable to get out of. Now this could be a myriad of reasons. I'm getting pride for some of them. I'm getting pride for some of them, but I'm going to clarify that in a minute. And the Knight of Cups, they're bored and they're feeling stifled because it's you they want to be with. It's you they want to be with. You know, the Star and the Knight of Cups together. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's just clarify, please, this Eight of Swords. What are they stuck? What's their restriction? It's too many. What's the restriction, please, here? Yeah. There's a lot of things in their life that is out of balance at the moment. And they're not sure how to find the middle road. For some of you, they're fearful of gossip and slander from somebody. And for some of you, because it's a general read, so I'll just throw other options out. There is somebody here who is trapped in some form of addiction. Whether this is they're just trapped with a karmic or they've got another addiction but that is part of the problem here they know they've got this ending to make but they're finding it difficult to get out of this they're finding it very difficult to get out of this but do they love you yes very much so the knight of cups the star and the other cards let me just see what else i can get on why they're stuck please let's just have a let's go deeper on that yeah, they've made some really reckless mistakes. 
they haven't got the confidence, I don't think, to come forward as well. They made a mistake. They took a leap of faith on something that was completely mad and bonkers. Um, they didn't listen. They were quite immature. But now, it's almost like they've lost their confidence to come forward. They're literally on the edge here of coming forward. But they're just stuck. Oh dear, let's see. What else have we got? Page of Swords. They're watching you. Whoever this is, even if you feel that, you know, you've blocked them, somehow, in some way, they're watching you. Even if they don't have access to the social media accounts, they could just bump into somebody who knows you, who knows somebody who knows you, and just ask what you're doing. But they're keeping tabs on you. Going back to the slander, um, with this card that's come out on top of the Eight of Swords, I'd say there's a very high probability that there's someone in somebody's mix that is a gossip, that is a bit spiteful, that is just generally causes trouble. And I think for your person, this could be one of the reasons why they're not making a move. They haven't got the confidence to take that leap of faith. So if you, you were saying, you know, Keely, do they miss me? Do they love you? I'd say, yes, they do. They do, but they're still trapped. They're still trapped. Let's see what the important ending, what are they, what's going on with that, please? What has got to end and what has, what has to change here? Right, okay, they realise that they were very hot and cold with you. They have been very hot and cold with you. I think they realise that they left you feeling very lonely. And for some of you, even during your relationship, you felt very lonely. It's as if they were there, but they weren't. And they know that now. They know that's got to change. What else has got to change, please? They've got to make a decision. Yeah. They've got to they've got to make a decision. They you know, I feel for some of you, your person is almost keeping the peace where they are. Um, they're sat on the fence because they're too frightened to upset the apple cart where they've gone to. They're just too frightened to make a move. It's like they're just turning a blind eye to everything. Their head is telling them to stay where they are, but the heart wants you which is a really tricky situation to be in. You know, I think in this energy today, there has got to be a serious discussion at some point regarding the elephant in the room. They've got to take their blindfold off, but they've also got to... Oh, what's the word? They've got to get some, oh, some balls together, literally, you know, to actually fight for what they truly want. It's almost like I, I can see someone who's just sitting in quicksand and they know there's help there, but they're too frightened. They're just too frightened to make this move. What else have we got, please? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I think they will eventually. The Wheel of Fortune always means that, you know, things are turning. It's in a positive position, so I feel eventually that things will turn round for the better but at the moment it's almost this person's mentally got themselves mentally trapped they've got themselves mentally trapped for a lot of reasons um i think a lot to do with the situation they're in at the moment most definitely let's just have a look at the environment please Spirit. What's going on in the environment, please? Environment, environment, spirit. Yeah. They want to speak to you. Okay, they definitely want to talk to you. What else is happening, please? Yeah, gift. They want to come forward. They want to come forward. But they need to take the blindfold off. You know, they are, they are the only ones that are stopping themselves making the changes they need to in their lives. And what I always say to people and my clients is, 
as much as you love someone, you can't heal them. This person does love you, but they've got to take that blindfold off and they've got to remove all those things that are holding them back. And at the moment, it's, I, I just feel they're just daydreaming. They're just sitting there daydreaming. They are bored out of their brains. Whatever they're doing, wherever they are, it ain't rocking their boat. They're putting up a good show. They're keeping the peace where they are. They're not rocking the boat. Um, I think the boot's on the other foot. I think they're getting a lot of grief off somebody. And they're having to keep zipped because they've got themselves trapped into something they can't get out of. What else, please? Environment. For some of you, as usual, this whole situation has to do with finances. Somebody's probably bankrolling somebody else. Yeah, and family, the house has come out. Why did I know that was going to come out today? Family. Yeah. Family and money for a lot of you. Always seems to be family and money. And then this is the thing, it's somebody who is too frightened to have a conversation, <coughs> excuse me, with, say, a member of their family and say, hey, now I really love this person and I'm going back. I don't care what you said, I don't care, you know, what's transpired in the past, but I am going back. And this is what your person wants to do, but they are too frightened to have the conversation. And, and they're lonely. They're lonely. Um, they feel like they're isolated and they're lonely. What else have we got, please? Yeah, it's a female energy. Uh, it's a mature woman who's got something to do with this. Let's see what else we can see. Let's get the Lenormand one deck out. Let's see if anything is actually going to shift. The Wheel of Fortune tells me it will shift. You know, and for you, if you've been having a rough time, things are going to get better for you. And sometimes, with the Wheel of Fortune, even though it's really, really hard, when we're in a position where we really don't want to be and we think, all right, are things are ever going to change for us? They are. And it's only when we look back and we realise why things happened. Let's see what the Norman have got to say, please. What's happening with this person, please, who's stuck? Okay. Right, for some of you, they definitely need to distance. They moved away. Could be in a different country. Okay. For some of you, they didn't tell you the whole truth about why they were leaving. I've got some of you that you found out that your person was lying later on. It's almost like they just up and left, or they left and didn't give, give you any reasons. Um, they realise that. They realise they've kept a lot of secrets from you. Um, Basically, the way they moved on was very cloak and dagger. So it was almost as if, I wouldn't say disappeared off the face of the earth, but you didn't get closure. They, they were keeping secrets from you. What else have we got on that, please? Oh, the bear. Right, okay. For some of you, the secrets were definitely to do with... Um, Someone had personal finance, personal finance issues, not business, personal. Because I've got the house in here, that could be family finances as well, property finances. And the bear, which always comes out of my readings, is a mother influence. It's a, it's a powerful female, overbearing, bossy, my way or no way. And your person has got to stand up to this person, otherwise they're going to be trapped in this situation for the foreseeable future. You know, the cards are telling me that they love you. Every deck, you know, I've got four decks on here, four different types of decks. I've got Oracles, Lenormand and Kipper, and also I've got um, Tarot. And it's all telling me that they miss you, they love you, they think 
you know, they're telepathically connected to you. They're dreaming of you. They know they've got an important decision to make, but they're just sat in this. They're literally sat like that. You know, that card, if you can see that, I hope you can, that card says it all. With other people. And they're just too afraid to take a leap. They don't want to make, they, they can't make the leap. They're frightened. Okay, let's see what else we've got, please. One more for the Normand. And we're going to see what sort of um, action they might take. Oh, wow. Okay, the Normand deck, the house has come out again. Well, the house came out in this deck, so this is a very, very strong message for someone today. I'm doubling up on my cards here. For somebody, and this is a general read, so for whoever this is for today, your person has got themselves so wrapped up in family crap that they can't see the wood for the trees. They left you, they did you wrong, they didn't stand up for you. They've let their family, you know, that kind of, oh, well, you can do better than that, or you're better off without her or better off without him, that kind of energy. And I think for a while they probably thought they were, but they're not happy now. They're not happy at all. So like I said, this is a very strong message. For some of you, I think um, your person went somewhere to get more comfort and security, whatever <clears throat> that means. But I just feel there's just a very overbearing, powerful, interfering family member wrapped up in all of this. So, let's see, I'm going to use a couple more oracle decks, because this is a very, very strong energy today. Can I just have some more on the environment, please? Yeah, for some of you, you are psychically, you are psychically tuned into this person. And I think for some of you, you intuitively knew that your person was being made a fool of and you fought a lot of their battles, or you stood up for them, but your person didn't listen, and went running back to wherever they've gone to, and now they're not happy. One more, please. Oh, oh, looks like we'll have movement though, a tower. I think your person's going to crack in the end. The tower's come out in the whole family environment nonsense that's going on over here. That's what the Wheel of Fortune's about. At some point, your person isn't going to care what anybody says. They will reach a point of boredom, feeling stuck, feeling stifled, and basically trapped in their own mind that they will just don't, they won't care. And it will be a surprise, it will come out the blue, and they will just go up like a bottle of pop. And, I, and then I feel they'll, they'll walk, well, they'll make contact with you. I mean, obviously, if you don't want them back in your life, this isn't your read. Um, yeah, sexual desire following the tower. Yeah, they'll come back in. They will come back in. Let's see what their intentions are. Oh, what deck shall I use? Let's have this one. Let's see what their other intentions are towards you, please. Positive, I want positive first, please, Spirit. Positive, please. It's too many. Gosh, do very well with this shuffling today. Yeah, they're going to come back in. They're going to come back in and say that they've transformed themselves. Now, you know your person, okay? So, like I always say, take what resonates. But your person's going to say they've transformed. They're going to tell you, I feel intuitively, that they're willing to let go of something and make some sacrifices so that you can have the new beginning. What else have we got, please? 
What else have we got, please? Yeah. They're going to come back in and say they're willing to work on this. Um, that they've learnt their lesson. That's the key I'm getting to say to you. They're willing to sacrifice something. They're willing to let go of something. They're willing to put an end to something. Transform. And they're willing to learn from their mistakes. It is a three though, so, you know, with that card, there still could be a residual lingering of where they've been. The other people could still be involved, but that's what they want to come through with. What else have we got, please? Okay, what else have we got? And then we'll just see. Let's have a look. What else have we got? They are frightened to speak to you. But I always feel with this card that eventually there will be communication. So yeah, you know, today's reading, your person wants to come back in. Let's just see what advice I've got for you before we wrap this up. Before I go to the advice, just want to shuffling, I'd like to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Um, and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, I couldn't do this without you because I would literally be talking to myself. I just want to wish you guys a really, really happy new year. And say to, say to you really, you know, without pulling any cards, my advice would be always focus on yourself as well. You can't love somebody better. If your relationships have been toxic, then put yourself first. You know, you deserve love, you're lovable, you're amazing. Okay, let's see what spirit wants to say. Advice, please. Ah. <laughs> the lovers. Okay. Yeah. Thought as much. Okay, then. The lovers, as you know, is about the lovers. So again, it's clarifying that this is a strong connection. Your person loves you. But for me also, it means a choice. I've clarified it by the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> your advice is consider your options. Yeah, consider what you invested into the relationship. Consider how much love there was between you before. Consider all of that, but take your time. That's what it's saying. Take your time with this choice. You know, don't, don't, don't rush in. Just take a stand back and think, you know, yeah, I'm going to look at the offer. I'm going to look at what you're going to bring to the table now for me because I deserve the very best in my life and I'm not putting up with any more bullshit. <clears throat> so take your time. So I hope, like I said, this has helped someone and thank you so much for watching. And like I say, from the bottom of my heart, I send you all my love and all my energy for a better new year. So I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Sending you love and energy. Bye.